Hello, Twinks and Brunettes, and welcome to my first ever building video. It might not look like that's what it is, but it is what it is. So this is my burb house in The Sims 2. As you can see, I have a full house and it has started to feel cramped. I say that as if it hasn't been cramped the whole time, but it started getting too cramped. The layout doesn't make much sense. The kitchen is minuscule. The bathrooms are ugly. <laughs> And there's a third bathroom upstairs, but is only accessible from that main bedroom. And poor little Parker here is stuck having to go downstairs and fight for either of these bathrooms with everyone downstairs. So obviously that's not very good. Okay, so I got everyone uh, awake and out of the house. So now it's time to gut the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, so the gutting of the whole place has been done. I'm gonna keep the shape of the shell. I think it's an interesting shape and I can do a lot with it, but I am going to add a basement to this house. Well, I'm kind of just realized that you can't do it with a house that doesn't have a foundation. <laughs> so I guess I'll just make the upstairs bigger. There we go, I think that's cute. And of course, as the title of the video says, I'm enjoying a little bit of wine right now as I'm building. Might not be the combination of activities that you would associate together at all, but it makes it very pleasurable. So I'm just gonna make this a real deck with a safer fence, and then I will furnish it accordingly. Since that family is made up of eight sims, it's a pretty big challenge to like set it up and furnish it, especially since I would like to have a much bigger kitchen than what we used to have. So I'm really hoping to be able to get back some space that might have been getting lost before. I usually don't like putting dinner tables outside because my sims will use it as a kitchen table and that's really annoying, but I like living on the edge. XOXO! There we go. Not everyone will be able to eat outside at once, but I think it's pretty cute. Now before I do anything else, I'm gonna tackle the kitchen. So the entrance to the house, I think it's still going to be this area, but I might put the door somewhere else. It used to be like in the corner here. And I think I'm going to put it in the middle here. And instead of coming in the kitchen, we'll come in the living room. So I've been watching Dr. Gluon's 100 Baby Challenge. And I fell in love with the look of his 60s and 70s houses. So I was really into the idea of including wood paneling and funky retro looking wallpapers. I really wanted the room to have a reading nook. So I put it next to the fireplace. I also like the look of the tile in the entryway of the house. I think it makes it look more like an actual house. And this changes a tiny, tiny bit later because I go in and add an archway to a corridor. So for now, there's no other door leading out of this room except for the archway that goes into the kitchen. Also, I spared you a lot of switching through swatches, so I hope you're very grateful about that. <laughs> All right, so this is my living room made. It's not much smaller than the previous living room, but it utilizes the space a lot better for sure. Also, my face feels very hot and warm. As you can see, I've gone with a vibe almost like 70s, 60s with the living room. That's the vibe I've been feeling lately. So that's how I'm gonna keep this going for the kitchen. I'm not giving them two stoves for like vanity reasons or whatever, they need it, trust me. <laughs> Plus the main goal of this build is to make the house a lot bigger than it was. And just having that kitchen instead of the old one is uh, an enormous change. <laughs> let's say. Because what we actually really need um, with this kitchen is to have a dining room because we used to have like a kitchen that has everything thrown in it and that doesn't work for this family. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I wanted to put a two by two island of counters in the middle, but I can't because these counters don't really mesh with the move objects. I took the vibe of the living room and I brought it to the kitchen, but made it a little more colorful with the blue, the teal. I wanted to try many things in this kitchen because I wanted it to look like the kitchens I usually want to do, but like don't think of for some reason when the time arises. I feel that even with the colder colors in the room, it's a very warm and inviting kitchen. Also, I do not show myself making the water closet next to the kitchen because I end up completely removing it so there was no point to like go in into detail about it. Alright guys, I have to admit I just realized I forgot to put stairs anywhere. So I'm having a dilemma right now about how to go about this. I thought about instead of having this be an open door like that, I could have it be an archway and then you'd have like um, a hallway because this would be dining and exit to the back and this would be a bedroom and then stairs i guess but i also don't have like i only have the water closet so far for bathroom i don't have a real bathroom there's also the possibility that both of these arches head to the same room which is the dining room and then in the dining room you have your way towards a full bathroom a bedroom for a double bed and stairs this could easily be a bedroom but then that would mean that upstairs i need to have four bedrooms and two of those for couples so that can fit double beds i mean both the boys could sleep in the same bedroom theoretically i wouldn't be interested in it if i was one of the teenage boys i like what i did too much to take it down i mean i guess i could do this like one or even two larger like longer actually and do this and then I'd have a lot more room to deal with my situation, which I think is what I will do. Okay, this area is not a bathroom anymore because it's going to be needed for the stairs. Okay, I think I got it. I think I did what I wanted to do. This was so complicated for no reason. That took everything I had in me, but I did it. <laughs> All right, you guys have actually no idea how proud I am of myself for figuring this whole thing out. So this here will be a bathroom and it'll be a full bathroom. Okay, I got distracted making the bathroom, but I'm back. So I haven't decided yet if this is going to be two bedrooms or one bedroom. But what I do know is it's going to be lots of fun. I love the swatches of this table so much. And I think they fit pretty well with that wallpaper that I put. So I think I'm going to make it fit with these chairs. It's pretty intense, but it is one of my favorite combinations. So since there's a fence here, it says that it doesn't work. But if I save and quit and come back, the window is going to work. So I'm not too worried about it, let's say. All right, so let's add a statement chandelier for the table and maybe like flooring, but I'm not sure yet. I like, I do like the look of the grass. <laughs> I forgot to drink my wine. How could I forget? I'm too focused on the Sims. Is that too much? Is that, or like, is it the vibe of the house we have going on so far? I think it's the vibe of the house that we have going on so far. All right, this is the house we have so far. I'm. I'm kind of very pleased with it. Now I gotta decide though, do I put both of my teenage boys in that big bedroom? Not only do I think I should, I will. This room is also going to have this flooring all around, but I'm going to put carpet in the middle. We need big, big, bright windows. So far I've been putting a lot of wood paneling around the house, but I find that this bedroom would do very good with a brick wall, a little accent wall. For the boys room i went with a darker edgier tone since they're teenagers and obviously they're very very sad and moody and have so many emotions all the time i gave both of them their kind of section of the room and i made the computer section a bit more private so that if they are having like a conversation with someone that they don't want the other one to see then that's possible to do all right so this is both of the boys bedroom i think it turned out pretty well i tried to keep their personalities in mind Ugh, it's in moments like this when i realize how long it takes me to build literally anything 
I'm like, don't worry, I know it's painful. I know it's taking a long time. That's why I got a drink when I do it. <laughs> okay, that's how I think I'm going to go layout wise. There's going to be a full bathroom here and a water closet here. I'm not going to have a lot more bathrooms than I used to have, but now at least everyone will be able to use any bathroom. There's not going to be like a bathroom inside a bedroom that it feels weird to have people that don't sleep in that bedroom get into for no reason. I want to have that little freezer bunny in the water closet. Don't ask me why. Just had this vision. <laughs> Okay, I'm back with more energy and more focus to make the last bedrooms. I don't always have a lot of inspiration when it comes to bedrooms for adults, but you know, just going off the style of the house, the way I was decorating the rest of it, I went into some directions that I feel work with the rest of it, hopefully. And I honestly don't have much to say about them because, well, they're bedrooms, you know? But I would like to talk to you about the fall vibes I've been feeling. Like I know it's fully October, but it was 30 to 35 degree for the whole entire last week of September. So the actual fall temperatures are making me in a very pumpkin spice mood. Yeah, I'm happy to be back in the mood and I'm happy to be with you in this mood. Be gone, fuck! All right, well, I think I did the best that I could with what I had. My family currently has $12. Don't be scared. Some people have money in bank accounts. We're not gonna be like broke, broke. And yeah, I do think that the bedrooms upstairs have less character than the rest of the house, but that tends to be the case I find when it comes to adult bedrooms. But yeah, I just need to finish up the roof and the rest of the roofing Okay, so this would be the house finished for now. I finished roofing. Don't mind those windows. They will work when I quit and come back. It looks cute, at least to me, and I feel like I succeeded to do the look I wanted to do. I wanted it to look like a mix of the 70s, the 60s, a bit modern, a bit retro. I'm pretty proud of my attempt, and I really like this updated back porch because there used to be like just straight up nothing back there. And I also prefer the roof the way it is than how it was before. So, you know, next upgrades could be a pool over here and making like maybe stairs go down from the upper deck to the pool area. That would be nice. But for now, this is how it's going to be. Oh, I might just buy Jennifer a better car. This is Jennifer's car and it's honestly sad. There. It's not so much better, but it's better. And this is also a great representation of what it's actually like when you build a house in The Sims. I mean, I for one always forget to keep room for the stairs. And I don't think about my layout before I start making rooms. And then I'm attached to the look of the rooms that I've made and I don't want to remove them. So I have to find a way to make the layout work with the rooms I've already put down. Like, it's a whole mess. But at the same time, I feel like that's how you get houses with a natural flow because houses in real life are like this. They are kind of chaotic. The layout is not perfected every time and that's how I like to make my houses. But yes, overall, I do believe this is a huge upgrade to what we used to have and it's going to be a lot easier to manage my sims in this space than the mess that it used to be. <laughs> so yes, as always, I love you and I care about you. Please follow me on all of my social medias. They will be linked down below as well as my Kofi if that is something that could interest you and the link for the Discord server if you would wish to join. Sleep tight. Don't let the bud light bite. Bye.